Hi everyone, this is Maria and I have something very special I want to share with you today. I guess you could say it's one of my favorite things. And so anyways, it's tucked away inside this cute little box with teddy bears and on the box lid it says the fountain of wisdom flows through books and I couldn't agree more. So let me go ahead and remove the lid. And inside is this cute little teddy bear, but that's not what I want to show you. And so this is what I wanted to share with you. These miniature antique books, you guys. These are called the Little Leather Library Books. They're leather bound and they have real pages that you can read. These books were uh, sold at drug stores, in department stores. Um, you can order them in catalogs, I believe, and also you could buy them um, like with a box of candy and send it to a soldier during World War I. Because remember, these were made between 1916 and 1923. There were 25 million copies printed. And so that's a lot of books, you guys. And so you can still find them today on eBay for just a few dollars. Now, I believe I paid three dollars each and I found these at a doll show. About 10 years ago, I remember that day, the, the building that I was in, it was a small building, like a small recreational building, and it was so crowded, so packed with doll collectors, and so I was there with a friend, and I sort of just lost her, and I just stood at this table, and then I just looked down, and I saw all of these small books, and I love books, I love miniatures, and, and I loved old things, and so I started rummaging through them, and when she told me the price, I just started making little stacks, and before you know it, there were other collectors coming around wondering, what is she looking at? And they started making their own little stacks, so I thought, oh, I better hurry up, right? So I did get 19 of them that day, and I'm really happy with them. So let me show you some of the titles. So in this stack here, we have everything from The Sonnets by William Shakespeare, and we have Mother Goose Rhymes, and this one here is The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe, and Rip Van Winkle, and we also have here Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So these are some really great titles of the time of Comedy of Errors by William Shakespeare, and The Phantom Rickshaw by Rudyard Kipling. Now Rudyard Kipling also wrote The Jungle Book. Here's A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, and this one here is called The Doll's House. So I have a few more here. Here is A Midsummer's Night Dream by William Shakespeare, and also Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare, A Child's Garden of Verses. Now I know you know this one, Alice in Wonderland, and we have Fairy Tales. My little stack is sort of falling over here. I have one here, a book of poems. Here. Okay, so I just have four more here. This one is Memories of President Lincoln by Walt Whitman. And this one is called A Message to Garcia. And this one is called Vampire and Other Verses. And I believe that one is by Rudyard Kipling also. And the last one is Tales from the Arabian Nights. Each of these books are so well made. You can see the leather is still intact on the spine and they're still bound really well, nice and tight. And you can see the pages are yellowed with age, but they're still relatively in really good condition. So after being hidden away in this box for so many years, I thought it was time to show them off. So I went to Michael's where I found this terrarium jar and I thought it was the perfect place to put my little books. And so I love that it has this cork lid and Look at this wide mouth, you guys, so I can put the books in there without having to squeeze them in there. And so let's go ahead and fill this up. So I'm really happy with how this turned out, you guys. I just love this. And so I'm going to set this jar of books right next to my vintage typewriter that I bought at the swap meet just a couple of weeks ago. And so I can see this every single day when I come to my computer, which is all of the time. And so it's so much better than to have these little books, these little gems hidden inside of a box, even though the box was a cute little box with teddy bears. Do you have something special, a special treasure hidden away in a box or in a closet or in a drawer? If so, I hope you'll share it with us. And there's my little leather book collection, no longer a hidden treasure. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye-bye.